shake your booties for black girl nerds. Good morning, Gustav. How are you today? I'm fine. You felt? Very good. Thank you. Um, I enjoyed your performance and cursed. We've seen so many depictions of, of Merlin over the years and, and different retellings. How would you describe your version and how he kind of fits into the Merlin history and all his depictions? I'm not sure he fits in at all. But... Um, um, because he's so different from, at least from anything I've seen before. Um, this time, Merlin, when we first pick him up, he is a, a drunkard, a cynic, uh, and he has lost his magic. And that's where we first find him. And then we sort of, as the season progresses, we sort of unravel why he has come to this decrepit state. With with Merlin and, and just your depiction of him, I've enjoyed seeing you depict so many kind of outwardly characters, you know, next level characters. I mean, even, you know, Carl Strand was like that as well. What what makes those type of roles appealing to you? Because you've stepped into them very well. I don't know. I just think, uh, I just think it's fun. You know, I like to act uh, and I like to, um, to embody those, you know, off the chart figures and characters. Um, I don't know what it is, you know, in me that makes me, if it, anything makes it more, me more suitable to play those characters, but I just enjoy it. I think it's fun to explore that, those extremes. With the, with, with uh, that, ex that extremeness, that's what made some of the, the most enjoyable for move, uh, moments for me and Curse specifically the scenes you did with uh, Sebastian, who plays King Uther in the series. There's a, like, a lot of thin line between love and hate between the two of you. What was it like shooting those scenes with him and just keeping that balance of, I love you, I hate you, I'm looking out for you, I'm not looking out for you. What was that experience like with him? That, that was a lot of fun. Uh, Sebastian, who, who plays King Uther, is a great actor. Uh, and we had a lot of fun with those scenes. And like you said, just finding that balance of like guilt and uh, not caring about him and being guilty about not caring about him, but still caring about him and knowing he's gonna, you know, two time him. Uh, so there's like a lot of subtle layers um, between the lines there, which, which was really fun to, to explore. Mm -hmm. Since this is a different and unique retelling of, of the King Arthur story, is it easier as you anticipate the audience seeing it? Because there's no really any comparison since it's just so vastly different. What are your thoughts as you await the, the premiere for everyone to see? I think so in a sense that it sort of, it lends, it lends the venue of the saga to tell the story more than, you know, trying to tell the story. With, um, with so Merlin. So there's definitely an originality to, to the story. I'm so sorry, Gustav, I had a little uh, break in sound. Could you say that uh, again, please? And, you know, I said that I feel like this time, like, like, like they're, you, we're using uh, the saga as a venue to tell a new story rather than finding a new way to tell that story in a sense. Like you said, it's quite vastly different from what we've seen before. Uh, and that's something that I like. That's something that makes it fresh. And I don't, for me, I don't see any, any point in comparing it to other interpretations of the story. Having said that, the, I feel like the, open, the playing field is, is already kind of open because we've already seen so many vastly different interpretations of the story. And at the bottom of it, it's not even a true story. So it's like, it's a myth based on a myth, based on a myth, based on a myth. And this, this time it's certainly a, in a way that I've never seen before. Same here, absolutely. And one final question, I've been seeing this going around on social media and I thought it was pretty funny. And since there's so many things we can't reveal about the series, I thought I'd ask you, describe your character in the most boring way possible. In the most boring way possible? In the most boring. You have to make it as boring as possible to describe your character. Uh, well, he's a magician without magic. 
<laughs> there you go. <laughs> That's perfect. Thank you so much. I enjoyed it tremendously. And thank you for your time. Thank you very much. Bye -bye. Take care. Bye. Thanks, Chandra. Thank you. Shake your booties for black girl nerds.